Okay, how to use the registry cleaner to scan and clean all logs left by the malware. So I'm gonna start with Firefox, but it's basically the same for, for the others as well. So let's open Firefox here. Okay, so let's find Babylon. So if you go here to your search engines and manage search engines, you can see Babylon is there. You click manage search engines, you click on the Babylon engine and click remove. Okay, click OK. And next we go here to the orange button. Go to add ons just to make sure there's nothing left here. So it's important that you watch the last videos where I show you how to remove the files manually. You have to remove those files manually. So you can see the two, actually I got another two new toolbars that I have to uh, remove. Okay, so since uh, Babylon is not showing here in our plugins or extensions, what we need to do now to remove any orphan files left by the malware is uninstall Mozilla completely. So you just, you know, right click, okay, and delete, and remove from program files and features. Find Mozilla. Right click, uninstall. Next. Yes, remove all data because you need to, to get rid of the data to make sure there is, is nothing that's going to allow Babylon to come back. And click uninstall. So I'm just going to pause on this process while he removes it. Okay, and as you can see, now I just need to click finish. And the next step, before we go to the to the AVS Risty Cleaner, we need to go to our computer, C drive, program files again. Remember I showed this in a previous video. This is how you have to remove. There is another bad tool by there. So, and now I need to look for the Mozilla folder because it keeps storing. And there you see, you see, I just removed Mozilla and it's still here. So, right click, delete. Okay, and now it's gone. And now at this point, it's time to open the history cleaner. Double click, click yes. Now, you need to make sure that you're not doing anything, okay? Now, I won't have a useful scanning because I'm recording and, you know, I'm using the computer. When the Risty Cleaner actually scanning your, your machine, you should just let the, the software do the work, okay? Now, one of the things you really need to do is go to Settings and go to History and make sure they all tick, okay? So it scans all the files on your system. Go to junk files as well, make sure they all tick like this, and the C drive. You want to scan your C drive because that's where the logs and the key logs are registered. So, you know, to make sure the system scans and finds those files that are now orphan and removes it from your system. And make sure all those three are also ticked. Click OK and start scanning. And that's it. When the scanning finish, uh, it will show you the reports. Okay. And all you have to do then is install a clean copy of Mozilla Firefox. It's that simple. I'm Jose Nunes. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, so let's now install a clean copy of Firefox so you can see that Babylon is gone for good. Okay, let's go. So basically click download. Download will begin. There it goes. So it's now it takes about a minute to download, so I'm just gonna pause this. Okay, there it goes. There is my Firefox setup. So I'm gonna close that. Double click run and I'm have to show you something here because if you don't clean your 
uh, Internet Explorer and, and Chrome. So if you just here, if you use a standard, then you can get Firefox infected again. So Firefox, no, I don't want that. I'm up at Google. Click install. Launch Firefox, yes. And now here, that's, that's the, the thing I wanted to show you. So at this point here, if you haven't cleaned in your Internet Explorer and the Chrome, you want to select do not import anything, okay? And click next. So this way you don't get Firefox infected again. Click now here. And now just to show you, so if you go here to the search engines, you can see there is no Babylon. When you search engine, there is no Babylon. Uh, go here to the orange button, click add-ons. You can see even the other two toolbar that I had there uh, previously has gone as well. Extensions are clean. Plugins is my plugins, which is default plugins of my computer. And there it goes. This is how you remove Babylon from your system. I'm Jose Nunes. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye-bye for now.